morning, everybody. It is Monday, July 6th. Hope you had a great holiday weekend. It is time for lineup. It is time for flags and a pledge. Please rise and remove your hats. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Okay, quiet down out there, quiet down, please. Ush. Oh, no, I didn't mean hush, I meant ush, as in the uphill social hall here at camp, where we proudly display recent Olympic mosaics. Speaking of Olympics and sports, it's time for our report. Here's Brad. Hello again, Camp Perry. Welcome back to me, Brad Webb's sports report for the week. As you can see, I am come back from Japan and I am now here in sunny Manchester. Okay, so first sports news of the week, we head over to Epsom in the UK. Big horse racing this week in the UK as it is the Epsom Derby, a famous horse race which has been run for over 100 years now. It is yet to be known whether the only American jockey that entered the race, Stephen Tonelson, turned up to Epsom as he was last seen wrangling a wild horse in the streets on Friday night. Okay, next we head over to Spain to check in with Danny Norton and hear reports from him that Lionel Messi is not a happy chappy at Barcelona. Brad El Calabatas. El Barcelona es un polvorín y Messi tiene un cartucho que dinamita y amenaza a la directiva de José María Bartomeu. El capitán ordenó pasar las negociaciones para renovar su contrato que expira en 2021, cansado de que se le acuse de ser el mandamás del equipo y, por tanto, de ser culpable también de la situación del Barça. La temporada ya comenzó agria para el capitán. En verano había insistido con el regreso de Neymar. A Messi no le convence el rendimiento del equipo. El equipo, líder entonces, con dos puntos de ventaja, está hoy a cuatro de distancia del Real Madrid. Valverde no ha mejorado el rendimiento y ha empeorado la convivencia en San Juan de Espí. Dani Nordón, Barcelona. Muchas gracias. And finally, we head over to your home Olympic scores for the week. I have them right here. Olympic home bake-off was 50 to zero white. Hand sanitizer speed pumping, 50-50 tie. Zoom trivia, 50 to zero green. CIT class nostalgic get together at High Rock, 50-50 tie. And our first results back from Jonah and Eli Dross's change-up competition went 50 to zero Eli, which means it was 50 to zero white. So that brings our weekly home Olympic score update to 400 to 250 white. So white team pulling ahead there. Stay tuned next week for some clues about who your home coulda, woulda, shoulda Olympic generals could be and some more sports news from across the world. Take care and I'll see you next week. And now for a special announcement, let's throw it to Doug. Oh, Doug. Oh, hey guys. It's Doug, Junior Camp Division Head. Do you like checking out the nighttime sky? Stars, the planets, the moon, constellations? Well, join me this week and we'll check out what's up. It's going to be awesome. You know, I wanted to share an important message with you. Because, you know, here at camp, we... Here at camp, we don't play around when it comes to your well-being. So to remind you, hi junior camp, hi senior camp, hydrate. That's right, it is always important to drink water throughout the day when it's hot out. And to always put a camper name label on your water bottle. Hi everyone. Our outdoors game will take place on an app called Discord, and you can sign up ahead of time with your parents' permission at discord.com. The entire game will live there on our Outdoorsia Adventure server, with me and a few other familiar camp faces to guide you along your quest. Each day, we'll have an hour of game time where we assign you real world and virtual activities to test your outdoor skills. You must work together with your team and come up with a solution to post to your team chat where you can share photos, videos, drawings, and responses to the challenges. Whilst on your journey, you will be participating in a soy quest. All we ask is that you record the number of steps you take daily, and you can do this by walking for about 10-20 minutes. This can be 
in your house, outside with a guardian, in your backyard, whatever. Each day we will tally up the team's steps and challenge progress and show it on the map, which will show you who is in the lead. The sign up form will be posted later this week in the newsletter on our website and on our social media platform. So stay tuned for that. We ask that you get parent permission and that they fill the form out with you. The game will launch officially on Monday, July 13th. We hope to see you there. I was just finishing washing my hair, but seriously, one of the biggest pieces of being away camp area in the summer is bunk inspection and cleaning and taking care of your area. As you can see, this area here, I have not taken care of the area. I've got shirts and shorts. I've got lamps knocked over. I have, ooh, this is nice. What is this? Is this a one-of-a-kind collector's item Camp Airy Warm Onesie? Yeah. Yeah, it is. I'll just put that one somewhere safe and special for yours truly. But guys, this room has got to come together. You've got to come on in here. you got to do whatever it takes. you got to get a broom. Or you got to get a mop. Or you got to get something that busts some dust. I, I, I can't make it stop. It's going faster. Okay. This is unacceptable. There will be inspection. Moms and dads, you have my permission, my invitation. Inspect the children's rooms. Have them cleaned, do chores, hospital the corners on beds, uh, sweep it around for dust bunnies under the mattresses, whatever it takes. Please. You need it. Camp needs it. It's for our children. Now kids, buy your beds! Another big part of Lineup Every Day is celebrating birthdays! And when we celebrate birthdays at camp, campers come up and they spin this. Say it with me, on three. One, two, three. Wheel of birthdays and speaking of birthdays happy birthday today july 6th to mason and celebrating this week also happy birthday to evan and matthew and evan again and landon and campbell and joel and benji and jack and jonah and jonah again and sam and alec Woohoo! let's sing to them a one, a two, a three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to those guys. Happy birthday to you. We are almost finished lineup, which means it's almost time for Hamotsi and a Pop-Tart. But before we do, quickly, let's run down all the things to look forward to the rest of this week with Camp Airy off the mountain. Today, lineup, you're there, nice job. Tuesday, lunch bunch, the dress code theme is neon, and the lunch of choice, grilled cheese, tomato soup, and goldfish crackers, 12.30 Tuesday, Sign up for the Zoom. Wednesday, again on Zoom, 7.30 at night, game show, Ari Louise together, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire and Louise, hosted by me and my good friend Neil. See you there. Thursday, snack and canteen. The snack of choice is bring your favorite sweet treat, and the costuming is Hawaiian tropical. See you Thursday on that Zoom. Please sign up Thursday, 4 p.m. Friday, once again, Shabbat, and Saturday, Havdalah. Those are both on the YouTube. We thank you, and now together, let's do Hamotsu. Together on...
three. Hamotzi lechem min haaretz. We give thanks to God for bread. Our voices rise in song together as our joyful prayer is said. Baruch atadonai Eloheinu melech haolam. Hamotzi lechem min haaretz. Amen. With that, go to breakfast!